I like getting there, you know, using a chatterbait or a spinnerbait, you know, just trying to cover water. But what I try to look for is clumpy vegetation, you know, submerged, you know, hydrilla that's not topped out or working down the edge of a uh, hydrilla that's topped out. In the high pressure days, these fish will bog up in them little heads. Now I like to, you know, slow roll it because they ain't going to be too active. So you want to slow roll it, kind of hit the clump, disturb that clump, pull into it, hop it out of it. And a lot of times when you hop it out of it is when you get your key bites. I run these chatter baits, I like to run with a low gear ratio so you're not burning it too fast. You want to just let that thing just wobble, you know, either with a spinner bait too. I like to run a six, six to one gear ratio reel. I can slow it down as slow as I can get it. You know, I just want it to barely wobble, you know, chucking through there and I don't want to be going too fast thinking that I'm not. You think you're really slowing it down, you know, with a high gear ratio reel, but you're, that thing is actually going a lot faster than you think. So I try to get the lowest gear ratio possible on the chatterbait, but also you're wanting to cover as much water as you can, but you also, it's a catch 22. You don't want to be too slow, but then you don't want to be too fast. We cover a lot of water, but you don't want to be burning the bait, if you know what I mean. There you go. There he is. Little, little fish. Oh. You can tell this fish right here, see them little sores on the side? That's a spawner. Probably came out right off the bed. These sores are from other, either males or females, they punch each other with their noses, trying to keep them on the bed to make things happen. But yeah, that one was, you know, either on a bed right here, it's kind of shallow, it's only like three and a half, four foot of water, but either it <clears throat> came off the bed or it was just staging, you know, cruising, ready to pull up. You know, just a slow presentation. And then when I hit them clumps, you know, I like to kill it around the clumps. If I can visibly see the clumps, pause it, let it, uh, you know, die it off, and then go back to just thumping again. And maybe do a, once you hit one of them clumps and your wad's up, you know, just hop it a couple times, pull it out of that clump, and then go back to thumping, you know. When you need these high pressure situations, you know, that's why I'm, I'm going as slow as I can. You know, you hit these clumps, you know, pause it in front of their face. So it gives them time to, you know, react to it. There's one, a uh, nice one. That's a good one. A little better fish, feels like. <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> Still fish. Just like on that one right there. I f loaded up in a clump, hopped it out of there one time, and just slammed it. So on a like a chatterbait setup, you know, same setup I use, you know, it's a multi-purpose rod for me, you know, down here in South Florida. I like to use this same setup for a rattle trap, spinnerbait, and the chatterbait. And what I'm, I like a nice soft tip, you know, it's a cranking stick, pretty much what you can call it. And you can load up, you know, without snatching that thing out of their face. You know, when they go to, you know, thump, 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 and load up on it, I can pull into them, but it's not pulling it away from them. If you had too stiff of a rod, you just whoosh, you know, that, that, mo that momentum right there just, you know, just pulled it away from that far if he was just trying to, you know, suck to it. You know, that's why I go with this cranking style rod, you know. Like, I, I try to stay around anywhere from a 7.1 to 7.4, medium heavy. I prefer, you know, when I'm running this chatterbait, I like to stay around 20 pound fluorocarbon. Since, you know, not mono, mono has just way too much stretch. It's fluorocarbon, you know, it's you not know, as, as much stretch, so, and then it's, in different situations, I like to use braid when it's muddy water, you know, snatch it out of the grass. But if it was more of an open situation, I would run lighter, you know, you know, 12 pound, you know, 14 pound fluorocarbon. But with those heavy, you know, hydrilla clumps and stuff, a bigger fish, you know, will hurt your feelings. They'll take you around a clump and then just snap you right off. You know, that's why I prefer the 20 pound in this situation. Slack line me. They are chewing this thing right here. That booger knocked the slack in my rind. <laughs> 